everyone, and welcome to the Productions video. And today, it is I, Kokoruda Omajia. And uh, also, today is my birthday. Happy uh, birthday! As, as usual, I'm accompanied with a bunch of. Uh, sorry, was I? Yell. Uh, uh, Alvin. I'm tired. <laughs> I tired. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I hearing? <laughs> and our and emo Isaiah Enver. Alright, <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. Anyways, uh, today we're gonna react to Frieza versus Megatron, which I was actually excited oh, for. Hey. Megatron! Oh, and, Megatron! Oh, and, uh, <laughs> okay, and, so once we get to the voting part of this whole video, I'm pretty sure I know. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, let's not drag this on too long. Yeah. Uh, before, we, before we go, before we continue this though, one thing, yeah. one thing, obligatory thing. If we see black freezer in the analysis and or the animation can we all make monkey noises besides the monkey noises can we can can, can one of at least one of us say ninja <laughs> you ninja uh, <laughs> <laughs> how? How is a foolish Ningen be able to surpass me, Zamasu? <laughs> anyway, shall we begin, Fungus? Yep, I have been excited for this episode for way too long, and personally, I hope Frieza wins, but. IDW Comics. But anyways, are oh, you guys hey, ready? Oh yes. <laughs> it's time for a death oh, battle. Oh, oh, get rid get out of here, you piece of shit, Ruth of Tip logo. And Megatron, the Decepticon oh, commander from Transformers. Oh, Megatron. Freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. I I should have kept my uncle wrong here. Devil Artemis the goat. Deep in the bowels of outer space lies a monster so cruel, so callous, so evil that the universe itself trembles at his approach. Behold the mighty Lord Frieza. Freeza, 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 Freeza. Freeza. <laughs> Get inside? Oh, awesome. And he's laughing. Dragon Ball Ooh, Villain. Frieza's yeah. diminutive stature and low <laughs> gentility were intentionally deceptive and rooted in a surprising place. In response to the Japanese economic bubble at the time, Frieza's design was meant to evoke real estate. What? Uh, I feel like the most sane Dragon Ball villain, a more a more sane Dragon Ball villain, would be Cell than Frieza. Yeah. And then, the and, then pro and then probably Fat the Boo. And then probably Fat Boo. Yeah. Can we continue? That's the joke. Yes. Eight speculators. Series mangaka Akira Toriyama has described such speculators as the worst sort of people. Yes, real. I guess you could say Frieza is more than meets the eye. Oh, wait, shit, that's later. Much <laughs> is unknown about Frieza's alien race and heritage. Cooler, only that cooler, he and cooler. his father were born as mutants with abnormally cooler, high cooler, power levels. Cooler. Oh, like how the doc said, my blood alcohol uh, level was point eight straight uh, out. I'll crush you. Is that a mechanistic reference? <laughs> Wait, 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 he's 70 years old. Oh my wait, goodness. He's 70? He's past 70? Holy oh, shit! I thought he was younger than that. I didn't. I thought he was younger than that. I thought he was like either like younger than that or like hundreds of years actually. I thought he would be like 40. I, I, thought, I thought he'd be like in his 40s, 50s or something like that. Something around there. Like probably 30. <laughs> Like, probably 30s, or probably even the 40s, or possibly 50s, but yeah, at around, like, the 30s for me. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, I guess, uh, it's been 
Goku is also not getting old, so... <laughs> Frieza was so crazy strong that unlike most Dragon Ball characters who transform to get stronger, Frieza transforms to get weaker! So he doesn't like accidentally nuke a planet, only intentionally. With his father's empire and uh, army at his beck and call, Frieza would cross the universe, conquering worlds one by one and selling them to the highest bidder, just like real estate speculators. And if anyone objected, he'd... Frieza is definitely the person to say, know your place and, and wait, wait for, for Goku. Goku. Just kill them, <laughs> their entire family, and everyone they ever knew. Just like real but estate speculators. Well, he usually lets his weird, lonely colored alien grunts do his dirty work for They him. say Frieza's Frieza racist, but look at his army. Himself, especially if some <laughs> spiky-haired space monkeys start getting too uppity for their own good. Frieza's strength comes from his innate understanding and manipulation of his own ki, or life energy, which he can use to enhance his physicality or manifest into projectile attacks. Like his classic death beam, death bowl, death wave, death cannon, death saucers. Yeah, I'm hey, monkey, here. You Frieza can go. move He's mountains not. with his mind, fire laser beams from his eyes, create key force fields, and he even learned to. Okay, so it's so it's not DPC Frieza versus G1 Megatron. So it is su it is Super Frieza. Yeah, DPC yeah. Frieza. Oh, we see Black Frieza. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, here we go. We need to wait. But we need to wait. If we actually see Black Frieza in the announcement, no, no. If we see him, that's when we monkey. Wait, wait. I okay. Either Megatron is gonna pull something really ridiculous. That it's been a long time since the last time I watched the G1 Transformer. Like the, comic. Like, like, the last time I watched it was when discs were a thing. Before you had to put a disc into like a machine and then you play play on the TV. Uh, I mean, I mean, technically, you're talking you're talking about the IDW comics because that's where he gets like the the cosmic the scaling and such. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Ow. Okay. Oh. To keep up with yes. Goku's mm -hmm. key attacks, which, scaled to the key he absorbed for a spirit bomb against Kid Buu, could move across the universe in less than a minute. Oh my god, it's old that would be Dragon Ball. 17 quadrillion times the speed of light, and he's gotten Whoa. even stronger and faster oh, since Dragon then. Ball you know so you're a badass faster. when you can stroll into Planet Vegeta, a planet full of oh, people whose only higher aspirations involve murder I and air gel. And dark shit like before. you own the place. Yatta. And he gets so paranoid about one of them getting strong enough to kick his ass oh, oh, that he blew up the friggin' planet. Considering yeah. Planet Vegeta right, has ten times the gravity of Earth, this would mean it likely has to be. I swear to God, I'm gonna have so much fun with this Team Four Star jokes. Gravity <laughs> from energy and destroy it. Unfortunately, I am not a Dragon Ball fan. Yoda tons yet. of TNT. I'm a one of the Wow. Many kind of missed a spot. Or several Rest because a bunch of Saiyans survived to fight another day. Several, actually. Genocide I... just ain't what it used to be. This would come back to bite him when he was finally forced to confront the earthbound Saiyan Kakarot. And accidentally ended up being the what? reason he turned into the legendary Super what? Saiyan. Like the albino dildo he is, Frieza has survived. Oh, 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 Ah, uh, yes. Who would have forgot that he one shot at Goku and Vegeta in their ultra forms? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the fucking black freeze of Japan. Man. Man. And left to float in the vacuum of space. He can survive without the vast majority of his body, though, unlike other Dragon Ball villains, he can heal on his own. It yeah. didn't I'm help him that you. much after he oh, oh, oh. But because of that Ray dragon Ball. in his balls, he was back at it again. Oh. And with just dragon four Ball. months worth of training, <laughs> the first time he'd ever trained in his entire life, Frieza was able to achieve a new transformation. What is training just beating the shit out of the, the Super Saiyan, Golden Frieza? <laughs> To quote, uh, to quote a famous, per uh, a famous person on YouTube on the internet. So you decided to give Frieza, Frieza, aka the biggest Super Saiyan hater in the universe, a Super Saiyan transformation. Isn't that a little ironic? <laughs> That's a little laziness. Did you know Frieza like make his form golden to like mock Super Saiyan? I uh, guess. Yeah. But but still, but still, the fact that Toriyama decided to give. Frieza, a Super Saiyan transformation, is just great. It's funny. just ironic. Yeah. If you can't beat him, if you, if you can't beat him, join him. 
And then, and then later no, no, on, we haven't gotten to that part yet. And then, and then later on, we'll get to that part. The villain is even bigger. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's see. Yeah, we'll get to that part. All right. Okay, yeah, there's that part. Deviant here lets him keep oh, so up with Super this, Saiyan Blue. Oh, so you know this? he likes Yamcha. <laughs> <laughs> For some yeah, reason. Who doesn't like yeah. Yamcha, though? Who doesn't like oh. Yamcha, though? I don't understand his backstory. <laughs> Anyways, shall we, shall we see? Goku and Vegeta, a significantly weaker Super Saiyan oh, no. God Goku oh, no. could blow oh, no, the whole of Universe the 7 no. into the Shockwave. Ah, no! no. Ah, and the Shockwaves uh, of their punches were able to reach the edges of existence in only a few seconds. <laughs> Over 270 quadrillion times the speed is of light. New. The editing is new. Yeah. So many years of power-ups and training between then and now. Totally crazy! But oh, nothing oh, compared oh, to oh, 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 There we go! There we go! Oh, <laughs> Transformation even stronger than Goku, who was wished to be the strongest in the universe. He literally said everything in the Dragon Ball. This is Black Frieza. The all seeing Oracle Fish had prophesied the coming of the universe's strongest. And perhaps he was talking about Frieza all along. Come on, give us another prediction. Oh. Oh. I think you're gonna die. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, For some oh, godforsaken reason, he didn't use his newfound power to kill those pesky Saiyans. They were right there, you moron. In fact, he once committed the arch-villain's greatest sin and teamed up with them to save their universe and beat Jiren. A being comparable to the gods of destruction. MVP because no 17. one's allowed to destroy the universe yes. but him. And that's a promise he means to keep. This almighty emperor will continue to rule the universe with an iron grip and a heart of ice. That's everyone's favorite racist. Cheek uh, analysis. Cheek yes. analysis. Cheek analysis. All right. Uh, All right. So, uh, when I watched the preview analysis for Frieza, I had a, I had a slight feeling that they were gonna like do Dragon Ball Z Frieza versus G1 Megatron or something like that along the lines. Uh, but thank goodness they decided to add Black Frieza to this episode, which is something that I'm hyped for. Literally, uh, Team Four Stars, uh, Frieza's voice actor, finally can voice act as Black Frieza. <laughs> oh, they, oh, I find it hilarious. Like, 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 goddamn. I find it hilarious that like, right, the super abrasive like voice actors like, I find it funny that the abridged voice actors are gonna be the ones who voice, like, these superior forms. Where it's like, we had Ultra Eagle, Elani voiced, like, Ultra Eagle Vegeta, and now Little Karibo is gonna voice Well, the well yeah, Mikey because race. because Lanny is the freaking GOAT, dude. The, no he wonder they would... No wonder they would uh, invite uh, Team Four Star for his actors for the, for the Dragon Ball Death Battles. They're the GOATs, Team man. Four Star. Team Four Star aren't ironically are like good voice actors anyway, so like yeah, GG. <laughs> Let's continue and let them. Yes. I like I like Kaiser's Neko trunks. I think it's Ooh. much more better than the official trunks, in my opinion. But not, no, how dare you say that when he said, "Hold your fire!" This man, this man is, is black. black. This man is black. Hold your fire. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Anyway, let's I'm see sorry, what they I'm have. Sorry, officer. Megatron! You either die a hero, or hey, you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Or you live even longer All and hail become Megatron. an 80s toy commercial. This All is hail Megatron. Megatron. All hail Megatron. All hail Megatron's ancient All hail. The planet was ruled by and the now, functionless I'm religious order, which you. decreed a Transformer's natural-born alternate mode to determine their role in society rather than living in for themselves. Born into this repressive caste system, Mega <laughs> desperately needs a cough drop. <laughs> Tron of Tarn, the mind of something more. <laughs> 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 only five ninety nine at your nearest Raid Aid, wrote a manifesto on peaceful dissent that got popular with the oppressed Cybertronian working class. So much so, in fact, That's that the Senate to tried to have him assassinated. Whoa, politics alert! After surviving that brush with death, Megatron was convinced that peace could never be an option. The only path left to overthrow the crippling social order was violent revolution. So, were the Autobots originally the bad guys here? 
Optimus Prime? More like uh -oh. Optimus Prime. <laughs> Never say the Megatron uh, wasn't committed. The civil war he started between the two groups lasted nine million fucking years. And again, remember, toy robots. He was aided in his war efforts by his um, immensely powerful moment. fusion cannon. A giant laser bazooka that can hit targets from 12 miles away and level a small town in a single shot. These projectiles are so fast, they're able to exit the atmosphere from ground level after only a single second. By scaling the distance of the Earth using the angle of this shot, the fusion cannon's projectile must be moving over 4,200 times the speed of sound. But wow. Like me, the like fusion because, cannon needs I feel like a little time to recharge between shots, so Megatron's got some tools to keep the job going. He can close the distance with his Energon mace and block blows with his Energon shield. It helps that Meg's literally fought as a gladiator before his stunt as a revolutionary. IDW, Megatron can fire lasers from his eyes and arms, launch buzzsaws strong enough to yeah, slice through solid rock, fly through the air, and open up a force field known as a panic bubble. Now, it might seem like a huge flaw that it lets enemy <laughs> combatants inside. But that's only until you realize it won't let them back out again. That's when the panic part comes in. Megatron's not trapped in there with you. You're trapped in there with him. Megatron's Cybertronian body is strong enough to match the Autobot leader Optimus Prime, who can toss around He's oil tankers weighing hundreds of He's thousands of tons. Touch. And Megatron's metallic He's hide is tough enough to fire up so and launch the entire planet of Cybertron through space. By taking a look at Cybertron's mass and how fast it was sent flying to get its overall kinetic energy, Megatron must have survived a blast equal to nearly 4.5 nanotons of TNT, yeah. up to a nine a small he can even keep up with Decepticons like Starscream, Megatron who can fly across the galaxy from Earth to Cybertron at hundreds of thousands of times the screen. speed of light. And he screen. wouldn't be a transformer without being going. able to transform into various vehicles. A tank, a stealth bomber jet, uh, and a gun! Just a gun! A B-38! He wields a gun! He was very corrupted by the cycle of violence or whatever, but that is the funniest shit I have ever seen. What does he have, like his deceptive buddies point him at people and fire? Sometimes. Oh my god, he can fire himself Oh my god. That looks even sillier. You may be laughing, but Megatron is no joke. By utilizing space bridge teleportation technology, Megatron can establish a remote link up to a nearby black hole and teleport the there antimatter it produces to his there location. Through his eyeballs! Should matter and the antimatter eyeballs. meet, they will be mutually Dummy. annihilated in a brilliant release Dummy. of energy defined by E equals MC squared. It doesn't matter no, how durable laugh. the matter no. is, it will be destroyed oh, at the no. subatomic level. As Megatron's war for control of Cybertron dragged on, all of his highfalutin ideals started to fall to the wayside. In essence, there used to be a point to the war. Now, war was the point. His problem. only goal left was to rule Cybertron with a literal iron fist. That's where Megatron's oh, greatest weapon came into play, his mind. The dude is a strategic the and tactical genius who's always thinking 10 steps ahead. He's fought powerful Mega transformers mind. like Grimlock, Predacon, and, and the Decepticon, a being with the power of an entire the evil it? universe. I am the he star universe star behind it. it. He and Optimus have it, even fought Nova God. Prime and Regenesis Shockwave, both of whom could utilize the energy of that same universe. Megatron once sealed himself Ooh. inside an Omniglobe and commanded a thousand real-life battles at once. Funneling yep. every iota of relevant information into his brain at the same time. The sheer deluge of data would be incomprehensible for anyone without that supercomputer brain. But all that robot ass kicking ended up as a draw, and the only true loser was Cybertron. With the planet in ruins and its civilization extinguished, the Cybertronian Golden Age was long over. And the vanguard of its destruction was Megatron who's now a crusty Saturday morning cartoon villain with a voice that sounds like he smokes 40 packs a day and a hate boomer for his own <laughs> second <laughs> Star scream. After countless millennia of a humiliating stalemate with his Boy Scout rival, Megatron's brilliant mind finally turned inward. He remembered that his early writings advocated for peaceful conversion and free thought instead of domination. Mm. It took you nine million years to remember why you started fighting in the first place? Would the memory get lost in the cloud? In what was possibly his most surprising tactical move yet, Megatron saved the universe from annihilation as an Autobot. What? 
He realized that after like millions of years of indefinite war, the ideals that he fought for, freedom, justice, equality, had switched sides, and Megatron had to as well. Turns out there was more to this supervillain than met the eye, because okay, true monkey. to his nature, Megatron transformed. That's why oh. he's the goal. Episode, Wait, I went past the vote, okay. Yeah. <laughs> off your oh. Got it. Okay. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all You know what? You know what? I'm gonna pick this one. This one's good enough for me. They, they yeah, did like yeah, yeah. they did like all right, guys. they did like the live action voting time. Like Megatron too. Yeah, but they also did live action voting time, Megatron guys. Too. You know that's very basic. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So I think it's obvious who's gonna pick the vote first. So I'm gonna pick them first. Isaiah. Oh, hey, Megatron. All hail Megatron! All hail Megatron! All hail Megatron! All hail Megatron, baby! <laughs> okay, Ooh. and then it's Kaiser without the sir. Free the <laughs> You racist! Uh, uh, Alvin! <laughs> freeze! 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 All right, I'm taking. I'm taking Frieza. <laughs> black Frieza. Remember when we see Black Frieza, we better be. And then, and then, uh, uh, Isaiah's twin emo brother, I Enver. <laughs> Why you pay? I the only for Lord Frieza himself. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So it's like three Frieza's, one Megatron. Uh, and what about you? Yes. Okay, for me, oh man, I I I like both villains though. Uh. Ah oh, frick. Um. Ah oh, frick. <laughs> you gotta roll the dice. Oh no. I mean, both are peak, so. True. True. I can't, I can't True. pick both of them. I can't, I can't vote for both. That's 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 lame. Uh. Hmm. Roll the dice. Freeza. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Freeza. 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 Okay, I'm stop. I'm stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Let's let arm for death battle. Death battle. battle. Oh, freeze! Freeze! Oh, 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 freeze! Oh, oh my God! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Cybertron. All right, Temple Artemis. What do you got for me? He's gonna cook. I know he's, he's gonna cook. Devil Artemis, Freeza's noble warrior of planet Cyber, whatever. I, Lord Freezer, claim this world as my own. Cheer from yours. Face annihilation. I have fought for my planet for eons. I would rather see it turn to ash than reside in your filthy hands, organic scum. I love it when they monologue back. Alrighty, we got so far, Nova. Final Farmer's Peak! Ooh. Hey, 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 is that clunky robot body too slow to keep up? My wish and more than suffice, you slithering pants. Ow. Whoa. Hey, the tail is flipping on the ground. Pew, 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 Lord, it's a monkey. Ow! No, Freezer! Get him! Got him! 
Holy shit! Oh no! Ah! Fancy! Where did he go? Where did he go? Huh? Right behind hey. you. Tank! Obama! Come Oh my god, Dragon Ball Wrestling! You fool! <laughs> there we go! Golden Let Jesus! Let Artemis cook! Wait, what's going on? GT posing. Uh. <laughs> oh. Holy hell! Oh my, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Come on, look like a train! Go, go what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He the planet up Holy shit. Whoa, look at this. Doesn't this just always happen? I give it Blender three, moment. no, five minutes. My planet! My planet! Five minutes? Planet. Really? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Mighty Lord. You gotta get him. Ruler of a dying planet. My planet. Where is your army? Oh. Where is your ship? Oh. So powerful. Wait, from this you will wander the Whoa. depths of Wait. space for Wait. eternity. Wait, oh, what is going on? Me. What a fool! You will die! Oh yeah! Yeah! The Trillions must kill them all. Oh, he's too but Frieza's overwhelming power gave him a clear head. Megatron's oh, ace oh, in the hole was his yeah. antimatter, which would have annihilated Frieza's Holy shit, Frieza's that was no way too close. And that was a real possibility. Megatron is a oh, master technician and manipulator oh, with millions shit. of years of Frieza's experience. Frieza, on the other hand, has always relied on his raw power and intimidation. Man, that was probably one of the best things. Don't go that is way. probably one of the best fake outs in the entire in the entire, in the entire season. Getting most of his body obliterated and that black Frieza go, model looks like a lot better than wasn't the a double sure fire win. It would have to completely that black Frieza model is whole truly awesome though. React. And I Frieza liked it. was way too yeah. fast for that. While Megatron scaled the characters who could cross galaxies, <laughs> Frieza has the the robot robot Goku, who should be at least trillions of times. Oh my god, my heart was pounding for a second there. Frieza had more than enough way too close for comfort. Yeah. The antimatter. So Megatron's only option was power. While Megatron has survived planet busting explosions and even fought the being okay. that had the energy of a universe behind it, Golden Freeze This is a lot closer than I expected. Considering he certainly Holy surpassed yeah. Goku and Beerus's punch clash. Since Universe 7 as a whole should be over 13 Megatron times larger than our own universe, Frieza's super forms would far exceed Megatron's own power. And that feat happened at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. Goku has gotten league stronger since then. Goku, and Black Frieza is currently beyond ah, him. Susano. There was just no, no way Megatron was strong enough to keep up. Megatron was a devious foe, but Frieza's power, speed, All and sheer Megatron. survivability allowed him to All hail the Frieza. Frieza, 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 Frieza. Cool, dude, but Frieza is too sick. The winner yeah. is Frieza. Ah, let's go! Yes. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Please, SMT matchup. Give me a Shin Megami Tensei matchup, please. I beg of you. And hey, are you a Death Battle member? <laughs> Animal Power going on right now, where members get <laughs> to choose gonna be a matchup please, for the next please. season. So click that join right. button and jump What's into the champions Discord. Y'all gonna enjoy this one. Huh? Wait, is that? Oh, Machima! Go, Gojo! Gojo vs. Machima! Oh my god! Gojo vs. Machima! Holy oh. shit! Oh. Oh. We're through! That's a good one! For three years at least. And now to commemorate this matchup, I would like to post my new matchup artwork for Gojo vs. Machima. Look in the no my chat. Okay. I would like to present my brand okay. new masterpiece. Okay, the one thing, the one thing that I know, the one thing that I know about this is that Dildo is definitely gonna love this. Uh, she did. I can guarantee I, know that, I was in the- I know she's gonna love this. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, Anyone anyway, you know my chat? This is my matchup art for Gojo vs. Machima. How to say Isaiah, I thought Dildo was a guy. A guy. Dildo was a girl. She's a lady. Really? Yes. Elder woman, yes. I she she just have but, she just has a deep voice. But but the voice. But but she, the voice. She's just it's just that deep. Yeah. Is that so? But That's what she said. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I finally have oh an my. excuse to make a Gojo versus Makima thumbnail. I finally have an excuse for this. I mean, it's what not like you could have just done it anyway. Uh, no, because I didn't. No, I, did, I couldn't. I couldn't think of an idea of how to make the thumbnail look good. Uh, to be honest, I didn't you, have an idea. You'll but you'll probably need to like do the close up with your eyes. That could work. Yeah, sure, but like this, this, this will motivate me. This will motivate me. Uh, let's let's uh, before we. Uh, uh, sidetrack into something completely yeah. random and off topic. Oh, you need to you need to oh, my God. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think of the the fight, guys? What What do you think of the fight? <laughs> it's like this this episode this episode has way too many fake outs, but I don't complain. I, I'm not complaining. Pretty it's, sure there's only two. I'm pretty sure there's only one anyway. There was only one. Like I don't. I only know it's one fake out. I don't know what you mean by like multiple. Two, I guess, but like, I don't know. It's like it's like Frieza. Go no. Golden Frieza was about to kill Megatron, but then he lives. Give Megatron me one minute. Lives, and with the and the matter of thing, and then Frieza was about to go black. Was about to go black, and then the anti matter actually work. They actually, yeah. it, it, I thought it worked, and then it turns out it didn't, and then now they're just gonna like a clash down. But, but anyways, this episode is actually good. Although I might see a lot of people disagree with uh, Megatron losing or Frieza winning, but either way, I'm happy because this episode is awesome. Yeah, and we, and we finally get to see, and we finally get to see Black Frieza getting voiced. Yes. <laughs> And Megatron and Edgy having a very good voice on the OG one. Uh, uh, who's the voice actor in this episode? Uh, Tom Shop voiced Megatron, uh, same guy who voiced Dio, Kool Aid Man, SpongeBob, Omni Man. Yeah, yeah okay. that reminded me. I'm surprised that he's even voicing Megatron, although he does also sound like he needs a cough drop, but like. Okay, never mind. But like. I will hit the gritty! Please turn on my pain inhibitors! <laughs> this episode, this episode is just damn, man. Okay. So I would like to commemorate the next time with these two images. Okay, so the next, so for the next time, I'm gonna post these two images in the no mic chat. Alvin, you can go look at that as well. First one is the new Gojo versus Makima matchup for they made. How spit is this? Let me kind see. of spit. 
And the second is the true debate for tomorrow. I mean, the next matchup. Gojo's fangirls versus Makima's dogs. Who's going to who is going to be the most cancerous? You know, both mm-hmm. fandom, you know, like both fandoms actually has like major sims like especially those uh the women's that have like simp on gojo especially but makima yeah makima fans are just way too <laughs> they're just way too out of control man <laughs> you, you know argue that gojo's fangirls are like crazier than makima's fan that dog right it, you could argue you could argue about that but both is just both is just out of control oh. Yesterday, it's, it's very you. Uh, let me send guys. This, okay. is how, this is how big I am. This is how big, what? This is how big it was. Oh my goodness, the monkey. Okay. <laughs> Silence, creature. I will. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> like, the amount of my. Uh, this is the exact. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Go on. What do you think? Okay. Okay, what but like. Okay, okay, but like. Either way. Either way. I am excited. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I am ex- I am excited for this next matchup, season ten. I am so glad. I mean, I, part of me is a bit surprised. Makima. Oh my god. My goodness. <sighs> Part of me is surprised that uh, Makima got in instead of Denji, and then Go. Uh, actually, it's not that surprising that Gojo got in instead of Yuji because Gojo there's a there's a lot more Gojo fanboys than Yuji fanboys. Although fanboys, although Yuji is not that bad in general. It's just that Gojo is much more popular. But look, we just look, we just need, we just need to wait. Silent creature. We just need to wait for Yuji vs. Denji to come out, and then that's gonna be. And the true debate there is gonna be what's better, tits or ass. That's like the true debate of Yuji vs. Denji. Silent creature. <laughs> damn but Wait. Silent damn white Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Isaiah, is there like an actual win? It, who actually wins this matchup? That's the question I I feel like questioning. Like uh, Gojo, ver- Gojo versus Makima is stated to be silence. Creature is stated to be the uh, most cancerous debate in all of verses. Yeah, I can what? see that. So who wins? I can't understand what you're saying when you're on the most garbage I've ever heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Gojo versus Makima is one of the most cancerous debates <gasps> to exist in person. But general consensus, uh, I think, is that Gojo, Gojo has like Makima has more instant kill options, but Gojo is far more likely to secure the W more times than not. Apparently. Okay. Okay. But uh, I don't, I don't know. I like both characters because I've. I've only I've like finally finished Chainsaw Man, but Ooh, I still haven't I still haven't finished uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, so, but I like I like both. I like both characters. Silent creature. Ow! Wait, wait, wait! Damn monkey! I'm gonna go right back. Jesus. Okay. Uh, it, I believe it is time to end the video. Yes. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching us ramble and ramble and cause the most chaotic discussions ever and have no. <laughs> uh, yeah. See you guys in the next reaction. Uh, See yeah, you be- guys next time for probably one of the more cancerous debates, but still, I am gonna, I am gonna enjoy this for okay. sure. Jojo or Makima, yeah. who am I gonna root for? This is gonna be hard. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sure. Yeah, same. It's cool dude versus waifu. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, see ya, you all. See you guys. All right. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.